Hey guys, so a lot of requests for this. We have the Sony Xperia XZ3 up against the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. So let's get to it. Now both these phones are really strong candidates for fastest phone in the world. And of course they have great cameras and excellent speakers. So in terms of boot up we got advantage for the Sony. And now the Samsung's up. All right guys, now for the specs. The Samsung has a larger display, but both are OLED. On the front, the Sony is a 13 inch camera, and on the Samsung it's eight. And on the back, we have a single versus dual camera setup. Both phones support micro SD. But the Samsung has more options for storage. The Samsung also has a larger battery. And the Samsung has an option for more RAM. Both phones are water resistant. Now at the bottom, both phones are Type-C. And the Galaxy does have a headphone jack, the Sony does not. And on the back, both are glass. The Galaxy also has the S Pen. Well, the Sony does not, but the Sony is less expensive. Alright guys, now for the rest of the test. All right, guys, get into it. NBC. Advantage for the Note. Netflix. Advantage for the Sony. Spotify. Kai. YouTube. Think a narrow edge there for the Sony eBay and narrow edge there for the Samsung so so far extremely close results I funny a narrow edge for the Sony uh, Amazon again a narrow edge there for the Sony photos and photos pretty close so for basic apps and narrow edge for the Sony, but now we got gaming. So first up we got PUBG. Now keep in mind both phones have the Snapdragon 45, although more RAM on the Samsung. 8 versus 6. And this is looking like a narrow vantage for the Samsung. Temple run. And this is going to be the Sony by a few milliseconds. Yeah, narrow edge for the Sony. Mario. Advantage here for the Samsung. Asphalt. And advantage there for the Sony. Okay, so last game we've got Fortnite. And this is going to be a tiebreaker. And the winner is... Ooh, looks like the Sony... Yeah, pretty close, but a narrow vantage there for the Sony. Alright, so now we got Geekbench. And gonna run that later on. Now for Chrome. 
Damn, what's your scope and quest weapon tree? Okay, let's go. All right, guys. So we got four sites, and first will be God. IGN.com. Advantage for the Samsung. INDB.com. Advantage for the Sony. Sony.com. Oops, actually did not probably recognize that for the Samsung, so bands for Sony. Samsung.com. And ironically, advantage for the Sony, so uh, overall advantage for the Sony. Cool Tobu. And not for the speakers. Now both phones have dual speakers. So first we've got the Sony. And Samsung. Back to Sony. And my son here, Sony. So overall, I would hand this one to Samsung because it is a lot louder and better bass on it. But this only sounds better in some areas. And now for the fingerprint. So pretty close, kind of alternates a bit. But I think overall, a narrow vantage for the Sony all right, guys, so next up we got uh, multitasking. Going all the way back to the beginning here, NBC. So both refreshing it, but that's normal for NBC News because they do want to give you the latest news for it. Netflix. I think a minor refresh there for Sony. Now keep in mind the Samson does a more RAM update. So that one was advantage for the Note. <laughs> and the Sony sliding, sliding on the table a bit. So YouTube a bit, a bit faster for the Sony. iFunny. Amazon. Photos. Sony. And by the way, guys, I do like the display more for the Sony. PUBG both retain it. And a bit faster there for the Note. Excellent for Temple Run. Sony. 
Super Mario Excellent. Asphalt Bopi Canid. Okay, so a couple more. We got Fortnite. Excellent. And let's go into Geek Bench. And just run it real quick. Okay, so overall, mixed results for it. And just in general, guys, uh, multitasking is pretty split. So yeah, in general, great multitasking for both. And also, just on a side note, I do like the uh, display a bit more for the Sony. Let me just pull up Mario Run. Yeah, I mean, this looks, a, <laughs> this looks a bit more vibrant. Oops, didn't mean to start it up like that. Uh, let me try one more. What's the Amazon? But yeah, guys, let me know in the comments below which you prefer. Time now for the camera speed. Advantage here for the note. And now for the selfie cameras. And look at the stabilization. And now for the selfie cameras. And look at the stabilization. And now for test of the rear cameras. And I'll work the stabilization. And I'll work the maximum zoom. Alright guys, so very close results. Now we do have a lot more testing planned between both, including battery tests and a lot more. So as always, thanks for watching, subscribe for more. And let me know in the comments below what phone you think won.